So in this course, we're looking at five different topics that we can cover to help you make sure that you're adding business value with your people analytics projects. We've looked at how to frame a business question. That was topic number one. We then looked at how to make sure that that question is business relevant. That was topic number two. We're now moving on to topic number three, where we'll look at how do you build a hypothesis. Now, the first thing to cover when we're talking about hypotheses is that that term can seem quite scary, and it can make us think that we're leading into some huge analytical or statistical project. And that doesn't have to be the case. Quite simply, what we mean when we say a hypothesis is that we're creating a really simple statement that we can test. Is it true or is it false? So an example of that might be attrition in salespeople is higher this year than it was last year. Is that true or is it false? How can we test that? And it doesn't mean that we have to spend several months looking at data. We could just spend 30 minutes or an hour in HR dashboard to figure out the answer to that question. But what's really important here is that we come up with that simple statement that we can test. So let's go over to Jonathan, where he'll walk us through the best ways to build a clear, simple hypothesis. Okay, as Ian just mentioned, we're going to look at techniques and steps to building hypotheses. The first one is very straightforward. Create your hypothesis as a statement, not as a question. Very simple. When you've written your one sentence, if it ends with a question mark, then it is not a hypothesis that can be tested. So write it as a statement with a full stop, a period at the end. So uh, there are a couple of ways to, to think about doing this to, to put you in the right frame. One is the if then technique and the other is the straightforward yes no technique. So the if then is if you do this then this will happen and that allows from an, a pure analytical uh, scientific method to look at the, the data to analyze that if you do something then there's a consequence to that. So if we pay people more then they will stay longer. If we provide more online training courses, then people's performance will improve. So that's one technique. The other is the straightforward yes, no, which is the, the statement is attrition is increasing in our X factory. So in that factory, it's either increasing or it's not increasing. There may be supplementary questions uh, to that technique. So you get multiple hypotheses, and we'll talk about multiple hypotheses later. But just remember, a statement, not a question. If, then, and the straightforward statement, which has a yes or a no. Uh, 